Now we have an extension to Weatherfield. I know. And we're on it. I know. Isn't it exciting? Well, this is exciting because you said to me just before the break, Kim said that actually a lot of the cast haven't actually seen this part of the street yet. Yeah. So this is your first look at Victoria Street. Um, we're going to move over here because this is the only bit that we can show you at the moment. <laughs> I can show you the rest of it is finished. Um, <laughs> but speed dial, authentic Pakistani street food. Have you eaten here yet? No, I haven't. No, no. but I have sampled Zidane's food. Right. So uh, he's, he's very, he's very very good chef. Because I was thinking eight quid's a bit toppy for a curry in these parts. <laughs> but what do you think, chef? I mean, I think it's very good value for money. <laughs> <laughs> very good value. Money. Also here we've got um, a tram station as well. There's a tattoo parlour. You, you're no stranger to a bit of ink. Tattoo, what do you think? Tattoo will do nicely. Though. Tattoo will what do a nicely. Great name. <laughs> See what they did there. Part. Absolutely. And there's an old Weatherfield uh, snooker hall as well as a community garden and soon to be revealed cop shop uh, round the corner. You'll be no stranger to that, will you? Well, I don't know actually. M mind you, Michelle's been a bit dodgy of late, hasn't, hasn't she? No. <laughs> but you've cleared all your debts, and so what do you do when you clear all your debts? Is you accept a proposal from the man that you love, so that you get increasingly in debt again to throw the <laughs> wedding in your dreams, right? I know, I know, and he's always dishonest with her, isn't he? As well, he's naughty. He is naughty, <laughs> but naughty but nice, and it's all those fellas that you're strangely drawn to, aren't well, you? Well, yeah. Over yeah. the years. Now, speaking of fellas, um, there are two fellas in your life, of course, that um, keen-eyed and, and those with a keen memory, Coronation Street fans will know very well, of course. Mm -hmm. uh, your biological son mm -hmm. is already on the street. He is, Ali. Yes, played by the lovely James Burroughs, who's doing really well at the minute. So, um, yeah, but we've also got Ryan coming back. Ryan is coming back. He's going to wreak some havoc, I'm sure. So, for those of us that do remember, swapped at birth. Yes, but she didn't find out till they were 16. Of course that happens every day. <laughs> it does, <laughs> indeed. It doesn't weather uh, Only on the street as well. Um, some um, obviously hard-hitting storylines of late as well involved with David Platt. Yeah. Which is extraordinary. Yeah. Um, yeah. And, and obviously going into territory that hitherto Coronation Street hasn't explored in the past. Mm. But is very much part of Coronation Street in the 21st century, isn't it? Absolutely. I think, you know, we're, we're touching on some very serious subjects uh, of late, and I think that's important. I think, you know, we need to bring... Uh, important subject matter to the forefront and you know Never. and we have to keep up with the other soaps as well you know and you're doing a good job <laughs> now that the street's been extended and we've got a tattoo parlor tattle do nicely yeah uh, we could pop in do you think they'll Shall we? spell my name correctly if we could try it. we see. <laughs> Shall we see? <laughs> right, I'll pop back for a little bit of ink. It is, I'll tell you what hasn't changed here is the weather here in Manchester this morning. It's absolutely Baltic and obviously the heavens have opened as well, obviously just for us as well. Uh, Lucy, what's the weather doing up well, and down on, the country? Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. Whilst you've got Miss Marsh there, is there any movement on me getting that, that role oh. as her secret love interest? <laughs> Take it away, Kim. How did I know you were going to say that, Chris? <laughs> oh, my please. agents Could you heard get him nothing. Off our hands? Yeah, I. will <laughs> tell you what, I'll meet you in the urban garden. How's that? Well, I'll start fancying you something. Know old, that every I day. thought the old, I thought the old takeaway dial place behind you for a bit of something hot and spicy might be more up my street. All right, let's. Let's do that then. You can buy me some onion bargies. How's that? <laughs> Put your hand in your pocket, Piers. I knew you were a cheap date, Marsh, but not that cheap. <laughs> I'll take. I'll take. You know what? I'm going to throw the boat out and take you. I want to be at the end of the cobble streets, sneaking you off with some scraps and gravy, because I know how to treat a lady. <laughs> Scraps and gravy. <laughs> Amazing. <laughs> Definitely. I'm up for that. <laughs> he means uh, it as well. He does, you know. Wrong, oh, Piers Morgan. Wrong. Well, look, on television. Uh, it's lovely to see you, Miss Marsh, as always. Um, <laughs> and the offer is always there. I, yeah, I could literally start Monday. They'd be quite happy to let me go here. <laughs>